I've always kind of focused on more traditional, uh, I hate to say old school knife making, but it, it kind of is. You know, I like to play with fire and I like to hit stuff with hammers and that works really well for the way I want to make knives. My name is Stephen Fowler and my craft is custom handmade knives. Fowler Blades is an outgrowth of 15 years of experience and playing with different knife designs and styles. I started out wanting to do martial arts weapons and that was way too much of a project for beginners. So I actually ended up starting with hunting knives, uh, which grew into bowie knives. And then for some technical challenge, I started getting into chef's knives and straight razors. And I've actually built up to where I do make swords fairly often now. This is my shop, I'm in Ackworth, Georgia. I've been making knives here for about five years. I'm getting pretty cramped in my space, but you know, one day we'll get bigger. I've got a pretty good selection of tools, a hydraulic press and a power hammer. I've started getting into machine tools and getting my first milling machine and lathe and all that just recently. I got into making martial arts swords and weapons because at this point I've been doing martial arts for about 20 years. I got to looking at the price of a proper usable sword and thought, I'm not spending $3,000 for a decent sword. So I thought, I'll just learn to make one. My initial actual costs to get into knife making were really actually pretty small. My wife gave me this little foam sword and $150 cash and uh, he's like, you can either buy stuff or you can you know, put it towards buying a sword. And I, I chose to buy a burner and a couple of fire bricks and a nice hammer and here we are. My kind of beginning and start was pretty much entirely based off of internet forums and asking questions and finding resources here and there and reading and pretty much entirely self-taught. I had been, you know, posting knives on forums and just kind of getting critique and feedback from people that I had met over the years. And, you know, the first knife I sold, this guy just randomly messaged me. He said, what are you doing with that knife? Are you going to sell it? I was like, I've never sold a knife. I don't know how to do that. And he said, I'll sell it to me. I'll buy it. And uh, we kind of snowballed from there. I just kept making more and finding people that liked them and actually, you know, started to realize that people liked the, the way I made knives. There can be a lot of variation in how long it takes to make a knife. You know, a fairly simple hunting knife can take six to eight hours. You can get into elaborate bowie knives and stuff like that that can take 20, 30, 40 hours. And then you can get really crazy and get into Damascus where I could spend 30 hours just making the steel for the knife. When I make a knife, every part of that knife is crafted and tested at every stage of the process. Hobbies become more than hobbies. You know, eventually you get to the point where you, you want to branch out into other stuff. So I've actually been working with a couple of guys to take some of my more popular designs that I've been doing for years and years and actually transform that into kind of a mass production-ish thing where a lot of the steps are being done mass production, but the quality control will still be completely in my hands where I can check each and every knife and make sure that it's still made the way I would make it. Fowler Blades is still going to be my Damascus pretty fancy knives that I spend umpteenth hours perfecting, whereas the ferrule knives allow people to get a hold of my designs at a much more reasonable price point. I don't think there's a craftsman out there that doesn't take great pride in, in what he does. And the, the real thing that I love about knife making is that I get to take raw materials and literally transform them into some completely different but very useful artistic object.